Hello, beautiful people. Yes, I know it's been a long time, but Christmas New Year wasn't a good time for me. Not seeing my kids, not hearing from one still. But anywho, just getting ready to pack up and leave for a month sit tomorrow. Woohoo! Hopefully, I can get to catch up with Gerowin from Jandera and Nettie and Adam from Silhouette Park. That would be awesome because I'm going to be in the area. Take you for a little bit of a tour around my home base. <laughs> Excuse the doof doof music. So I'm now on my downtime living with my bestie Jenny, who I've known for many, many years, and this is her place. So she wanted a whole heap to be growing, but don't let the green grass fool you because where we're at um, hardly got any rain, got none of the storms over Christmas. I think we're lucky to get five, ten mil at a time. So this is Jenny's amazing cucumber plant. It has given so many cukes off this thing. It's not funny, she's made that many lots of bread and butter pickles and dill pickles and given them away and I uh, look like I've got a pick, uh, cucumber to pick before I leave tomorrow. Apparently there's three or four on here for me tomorrow. And I'm taking a bunch of shallots with me as well. So yeah, she's done really well with the cucumber plant. And um, my box of seeds has migrated to next door. She started gardening, so I thought, well, why not use them? So she's gonna take what she wants and then hand it back over to Jen. So what's happening over here? Jen actually has quail eggs in the incubator at the moment. So a new quail pen is gonna go here. Hard when you only get two days off work and they put you on stupid shifts like you finish night shift at seven o'clock in the morning and that's counted as one of your days off but yeah go figure so she's got some things happening in the garden and she's got to be very sparse with the water too I and mean, she's got a couple of taints but they're not getting filled up so this is all her herbies that she's got going Oop. I better tell her to start pruning her basil. Flowering. Might take some of that with me too. She's got some lovely sage growing. More basil. Dill's on its way out. Um, these, I believe, are blackberries. So she's got quite a few off there already. Um, they need a bit of training up as well. Into there. Um, that I believe is rhubarb. Um, I think they're tomato. Oh no, these are gooseberries. She loves her gooseberries. And we've got some blackberries coming on here. Look at that. Lovely. So, yeah, as I said, she, because of the lack of rain, I mean, she's got a beautiful big rainwater tank out the back to feed the, the water the garden. Well, there's hardly nothing in it. She's actually been moving water from the front little tank into this tank so she can keep all these fruit trees alive which i will show you in a minute so yesterday was fun we cut down a gum it was about that tall and luckily pam's brother came over with his log splitter to split it all up except for a couple of bits and pieces there but i don't Jen's got enough wood for a while. This is her wood pile down here. So she's got some older stuff for this year. Still some in her trailer. She's got this big pile too for this year. And then this is what we chopped yesterday and hauled over here. So of course that's got to weather before it will burn. So that should keep her in firewood for a bit. So she's got a little passion fruit tree over there. I think eventually this is going to turn into like a sweet potato pumpkin type patch, I think. Now Jen was going to make all these different um, 
garden beds, but she's now decided, I think she's just putting um, edging right along there and then just making this like a big garden bed slash food forest because she's got quite a bit growing. So I'll see if I can remember what things are. <laughs> so I don't know where she's planted things. So she's got some dragon fruit growing and it's heading next door as well. Um, I think this is the lemonade that she planted for her bestie Gail who passed away this year in September I think. Correct me if I'm wrong Jen. And then we've got I think another lime tree over there. This is her mulberry and it's fruiting again. It's already fruited once this year. Apparently it's fruiting again. And of course her fig tree and I believe that's an apple tree and there's another apple tree there so this one seems to be taking got a whole lot of new growth on it this one oh geez i'm gonna fall over oh yeah this one's getting a little bit too which is great so we've got a lemon tree um yeah that we use some of the leaves from the gum to help mulch the garden beds so yeah, she's got quite a few little bits and pieces planted, um, but eventually she wants all this just covered in fruit, or not fruit, fruit and veg anyway, keep yourself sufficient, um, it's good she oh, fell over something else, she's on the same mindset as me, you know, growing as much as you can, sharing, preserving, pickling, um, in June, I think we've set the date finally. My storage unit from Ipswich is coming up here. So all my preserving stuff, etc., will be going into the pile, along with my stockpile that I still have, if I have any, when I get to the storage unit. But who knows what's there and what condition it is after the other one threw it all in there. But anyway, we shall not mention her name. So I've got a little bit of compost going here that was going to be a quail tractor, but the feral cats around here um, got in and ate all the quails. So Jen's got a different coop now, but I recommended that we actually use it as the cat enclosure at Boddington Farm, if you can remember that. So that's going to go in here, I think. And apparently it's light enough she can use it as a chook tractor. And as you can see in the afternoon, this bit gets heaps of shade. But it gets all the morning sun, which is great. So yeah, this is where I'm home basing now. So I head off on a sit tomorrow for a month, which was a referral from one of my regular beautiful families. Thank you very much. It's actually her bestie. So, as I said, I'd be nice and close to um, Silhouette Park and Jandera, so hopefully I can pop in there and catch up with them. And then I'm back, I think, for about three weeks because Jen has to go in for surgery, so I'm going to look after her. And then I think I'm off on another month. So, already booked for three Christmases in advance, or well, two now. <laughs> booked till Christmas 2025, which is great. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, I'll update you on my sit. I'm sure I'll have some funny videos because I've got a little puppy to look after. So there should be some hilarity there. So anyway, guys, don't forget, like, subscribe and share. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.